Hey everybody, it's Dawn. Um, I know it's been forever since I last updated you guys on everything that's been going on. So I'm gonna try to quickly go through everything that I've been through and update you guys as quick as possible. So um, I have moved into a new house, which is awesome. Um, I have a lot more room, which is nice. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, there is a new man in my life. He's been in my life for a while now. Um, maybe you'll get to meet him. Um, when it comes to health, it's been really good and really bad all at the same time. Um, I started the pill or combi and it has been amazing. Um, I went to DC, Washington DC, which is awesome. And I hope everybody can experience at least once in their life. It's awesome. Um, but <coughs> as of um, a year and a half at this time, I would have never been able to go to DC without my oxygen. And I was able to walk a whole mile without stopping, barely at all, which is amazing. I was astonished and I am so grateful for Orakambi. I cannot describe how much better my life is with Oricombi. Um, but lately we've had issues. And when I say lately, I mean in the past couple weeks. Um, I'm having kidney stones. I have been battling kidney stones for a while. Unfortunately, my kidney stones are too big to pass, so they just hang out, unfortunately. So I'm stuck with that going on. Um, my pancreas is enlarged. So they also thought I had pancreatitis, which is very, very painful. And if anybody's ever had it, you know how horrible it can be. And if you've never had it, I hope you never, ever, ever have it, ever, because it's horrible. Um, I've been having a lot of problem with my oxygen staying above 90s and I've been having a lot of trouble with my heart rate going into the 140s, 150s with me just sitting here. Um, last week I experienced one of the scariest things that I have experienced with my CF. I mean, ICU was scary, don't get me wrong, but um, obviously I was in a coma so I wasn't awake to experience all that. <laughs> So, but this time I was on 10 liters of oxygen and I still couldn't catch my breath and it was horrible. I, talking was horrible. It was so hard. I had to, in between every word, I had to stop and take my a, a deep breath because simply talking turned into something that was so hard and breathing was something that almost seemed impossible like with every little breath that i took i was not getting enough oxygen and that was scary that was so very scary i've never experienced anything like that and I just, it scared the shit out of me, to be quite honest. Literally scared the shit out of me. I never want to be in that position again, obviously. No one wants to be in that position. Um, I remember I was sitting in a CT scan because they thought, well, maybe my blood clots return. And I was sitting there and I was just thinking to myself, all these thoughts just came rushing to me <coughs> and I thought to myself well if I get admitted is this going to be another ICU thing can I deal with another ICU thing will I have to be intubated and have a machine breathe for me because just me breathing myself is not enough and that was a scary, scary situation. And 
So we went to the doctors, my CF doctor, and it turns out that it's not my lungs, we think, it's my heart, which as I've posted, you know, in the past, I've had blood clots in my heart. And like I said, we did a CT scan and no blood clots, which is awesome. But now we have this other problem of why is my oxygen so low and my heart rate so high when I'm just doing simple things. And so I meet with the cardiologist later this week. Um, we've talked about doing a heart cath. And I mean, it's scary. I'm not gonna lie, it's very scary. Um, I couldn't even take a shower. I had to have someone help me because breathing was just that difficult. And something so easy made so hard is just your body is supposed to just do that on its own. And when it's, when your body is having problems doing that, that's so scary. And then the anxiety kicks in and I was on my oxygen and I couldn't leave the house. And I'm doing better today, obviously, I'm not on my oxygen, um, but we'll see what the cardiologist says on Friday. Um, I'm remaining hopeful, so we'll see what happens. I know it's been forever since I updated you guys, and I am so sorry. <laughs> Just some things happened, and now I am back on the road to doing my videos again. <laughs> So, but I hope this finds everybody doing well, and it's a beautiful day here, so I think I'm going to go out and enjoy the 60 degree weather in Ohio, because just the other day, it was snowing, so, but uh, I love you guys, um, thanks for following my journey, um, I'll try to keep you guys updated, and, you know, hope for the best. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.